Okay, let's talk about if you are having problems with homework problem or 0.3 is the assignment, part one. Let's talk about if you're having trouble with, let's say, number six, okay? So number six looks like this. It asks you to do two-thirds times g of x minus eight times f of x. So you're going to take two-thirds and distribute it by all the terms in the g of x, and you're going to take either a negative 8 and distribute it by all the terms of the f of x, or an 8 and distribute it and then subtract them. So I don't want to do the same exact problem. I want to do a similar problem. So what if I said 4 fifths times f of x minus 7 times g of x? And I'll give you the f of x and g of x. They won't be the ones from your problem. So f of x, let's make this equal to negative 3x plus 7. And then g of x will have it be 4x minus 2. Okay, so I'm going to set this up 4 fifths. Everywhere I see f of x, I'm going to replace the f of x stuff. Negative 3x plus 7. Minus 7, everywhere I see g of x, I'm going to replace it with the g of x stuff. Now, I have a fraction to deal with. 4 fifths times negative 3 is negative 12 fifths x plus 28 fifths. Now, you can think of this as a plus negative 7 that you're distributing. That becomes minus 28x and plus 14 because the negative and the negative. So be careful with that. So now I have to combine my like terms. So what is, I'm going to use my calculator, 28 times 5. So I've got negative 12 fifths x minus 140 fifths x. I just wrote those as, with a common denominator. Plus 28 fifths and 14 times 5 is 70 fifths. Now negative 152 fifths x plus 98 fifths. That's my answer. So remember in buzz, you type your coefficient first, 152 fifths, then your x, plus 98 fifths. I hope this has helped you if you had troubles with number six.